hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can start a shopify dropshipping business now the good part about what i'm about to show you is that you can get started for free now this is going to be good for you if you're a complete beginner to dropshipping because you can easily get started for the next three months all you have to do is just pay one dollar per month using shopify and you'll be able to sell product without paying for the product upfront all right so i'm going to show you how you can gain access to supplier whereby you have to use your customer money to pay the supplier so in this case you're not going to be paying with your own money so the minimum cost of you starting this judgment business is going to be drastically low all right so for the next three months all you have to pay is just three dollar because all we're going to be using is shopify and shopify has made it easy for us to get started with paying just one dollar all right so if there's something you like to do i want you to stick around watch this video to the end and if it's your first time seeing the channel please don't forget to like the video if you have any question about this video please drop them in the comment section and most especially subscribe to the youtube channel so you can get more videos like this so for us to get started what we have to do is to create a shopify account so i'm going to hide the link at the description of the video so just go to the description of the video click the link there and when you click on the link you're going to see a page like this so what you want to do is to come over here then enter your email address then click on start free trial so when you start a free trial you'll be able to get three days for free then after the first three days you'll not be able to pay one dollar for the next 30 days so you can do this for the next 90 days that is you can pay one dollar for the first month the second month one dollar and the third month um one dollar making the whole of the money you're going to pay to be three dollar for the next 90 days so what you want to do is enter your email address here so once you enter your email address click on start trial so after that you're going to see the shopify wizard asking you what you want to use your store to do all right so basically what you want to do is to um just answer some of the questions but it doesn't really matter so in my own case i usually skip it because um what you're still going to do is going to be from the back end of your shopify so what you want to do is that is come over here then click on i don't want help setting it up so after that you're going to prompt you to select a payment plan for your shopify store so like i said um they are going to give you three days free first then after the first three days um free trial you'll be able to pay one dollar for the next three months so depending on the shopify plan if you want to choose you can just go through the three plan then choose the one that best um um that best resonate with what you want to do so basically i usually go with the first plan which is the basic plan all right but you can still use the first three days to get familiar with the platform before you start paying the one dollar for the next 30 days so what i want to do here is come over here then click on skip i'll decide later so as you can see here i've just logged into my shopify dashboard and as you can see at the lower section here it says three days left in your trial so this means i have three days to use the shopify platform then after the three days after the first three days i'll not have to pay one dollar to start um, using my shopify store so this is um, your shopify store and what you want to do now is to get familiar with the dashboard so this is home and this is other so others is where you're going to start monitoring your orders product is where you can see the product you have on your shopify store this is where you can manage your customer this is where you can manage your content your analytics and your marketing and discount so what we want to do now is to come over to online store here so when you click on online store it's going to redirect you to where you can actually set up the store so when you click on view your store your store is going to have the default thing so when you click on view your store you'll be able to see how it looks like and when we start editing the store you'll be able to see how it looks like here as well all right so this is the default store so what you want to do now is to come over here then start customizing your shopify store so the next thing we have to do on our shopify store is to change the theme so for you to change the theme what you want to do is click on theme here so as you can see we are currently at the theme section here so this is online store this is theme so when you click on theme this is what you can see so what you want to do here is to scroll down so when you scroll down you're going to see um, some of the popular free themes on shopify all right so this is the theme we're going to be using the name of the theme is sense so you can also come here then search for whichever theme you have in mind but this is the theme we're going to be using which is sense so what you want to do is you want to click on it so when you click on it you can see um the option to try the team here so here just click on try team so as you can see we've just installed the new team on our shopify store 
so what you want to do now is to customize the stuff so this is going to take um a few play around with the uh, with the shopify team for you to get used to it so what you want to do is you know just keep playing around with the team so when you keep playing around with team you'll be able to get familiar with it and use it to you know customize your store very well so let me just give you a quick rundown of how you can start customizing the store so what you want to do here is to come over here so look at the header here so looking at the header this is the header so as you can see it says i'm um, welcome to our store so here this is where you can put something like get free shipping on our product so if you want to adjust the um, announcement bar here what you want to do is click on announcement bar then um, click on welcome to our store here so you can um, click on it then um, scroll to your right sec um, and section here then um, enter what you want to put here so you can just um, put something like get free shipping so i just enter get free shipping on all products so you can just play around with uh with the words and you know enter what you like best here so now for you to customize um, your store properly what you want to do is come down here then click on settings so when you click on settings you're going to see um team settings you're going to see logo colors typography layout animation buttons and the like so this is where you customize your store properly so when you click on logos here yeah? so what you want to do is you must have created a logo for your shopify store already so what you want to do is you want to come over here then click on select so you'll be able to upload the logo you've created for your store here so when you click on upload it's going to upload um to your shopify store here so you can add it all right so after that um what you want to do is you want to you want to go back all right then come down to colors here so this is color so this is where you can adjust the current color on the shopify team so if you want something different to this this is where you can adjust them so we have the scheme one we have scheme two scheme three scheme four so you can just use them to adjust the color they have here so if you want to change them so click on the color here then you can now use this to adjust them to to your liking okay so and if you want to remove it you can just click on this and it's going to remove so that's that about um color so what you want to do is you want to scroll down again then look at typo so typo is um how the text on your shopify store are being displayed so this is where you can also adjust it so the current button on your store which is shop now and um, whenever they want to buy a product um the button they are going to click to buy it this is where you can adjust the button so this is it so this is basically how you can do that and um, input product card so what you want to do here is just play around with it for you to you know get familiar with it so once um you are okay with um the looks of your shopify store so the next thing we have to do now is to add product to our shopify store so what you want to do now is to um leave this page so we have to go back into um our shopify um dashboard so here what you want to do is you want to come over to apps here so click on add apps so when you click on add apps you can see um something like this so what you want to do is you want to scroll down then click on um shopify app store so this is where you can see all of the apps on the shopify app store so what you want to do is click on shopify app store and it's going to redirect you to the app store all right so as you can see so these are the most popular um app store on the shopify um uh, app store so this is where you can um, download the app that you need so what we need here is to download a app that is going to help us import product from our supplier website to our shopify store and whenever we make an order on our shopify store this app is also going to help us fulfill the order automatically so popular among those app is um cj dropshipping all right but cj dropshipping um, requires some fee and they also have a free plan as well so we have um disa so disa is the most popular all right so just come over here then search for disa so as you can see we have disa aliexpress dropshipping so when you click on disa you can see something like this so what you want to do here is click on install so after that again come over here then click on install again so now we've just been redirected to disa so what you want to do here is um to create an account with disa so if you want them to create an account with your shopify details just click on create an account for you and if you want to register yourself probably you want to use another email address
you can just click on register yourself so i'm just going to click on create an account for you so they will use my shopify details to create the account so our account has just been created so here they are asking you to pick a plan all right so for you to get started you don't need um, none of the paid plans so basically what you need is to come over to the free plan here then click on free as you can see it says i'm um, free forever so just click on um, free and click on get started so the next thing we have to do here is to link our shopify store to the supplier website we're going to be using which is aliexpress so as you can see here it says to bind aliexpress click the card on the left which is this and if you don't have an account with aliexpress you all you have to do is just to um, create a new account with aliexpress and you'll be able to bind the two together so if you have an account with aliexpress so what i usually suggest is just open another tab on your browser then um quickly log into the aliexpress account so it's going to make it easy to link the two together so here i'm just going to come over to aliexpress then log in with my details so here i'm going to click on sign in then i'll enter my email address and my password so we can proceed so here we enter my email address and after that I'll click on continue then i'll enter my password as well then i'll click on sign in so a verification code has been sent to my email address so all i have to do is copy the verification code enter it here so i'll be able to verify my email address so the code is seven four seven seven one eight i'm going to click on verify all right so i've just logged into my aliexpress so the next thing i have to do now is to go over to this uh, so what i'm going to do here is click on um, aliexpress which is um, the card on the left so i'm going to click on it so it's going to say um, link and authorize to aliexpress so to do that click on login so as you can see it says we have detected that you are already logged in and can be authorized immediately all right so this is going to make it faster so all you have to do now is just come over here then click on authorize so as you can see we've just logged in so this is just like a um short tutorial on how to use the um this platform so what you want to do now is to you know play around with the dashboard as well so for you to get familiar with it so if you want to search for products what you want to do is come over here then click on find product so here if you have any keyword in mind you can just enter the keyword here and if you want to search for products based on their categories you can also um, click on aliexpress here then um, look at the categories of um, the product you like to you like to import to your shopify store so let's um take a look at this so here are some of the products in this um category so what you want to do is just um screw around look at the product and if you see whichever of the products you like what you want to do is um click on the product so let's take for example um this is the product you like to have so if you want to know more details about the product you can just click on the product and it's going to open up the product on a new page here so this is the details of the product on aliexpress so if you like the product all you have to do is just go back to um this uh, then um come over here then click on as you can see this icon here click on add to import list so when i click on it you're going to see um the import language so it's already in english if you want another import language you can just select it and click on confirm so i'm just going to leave it at english and i'm going to click on confirm so the product has been added to my import list so if you want to check the product all you need to do is click on check and if you want to browse around and products on aliexpress you can just click on stay so let's check the product we've just imported so i'm going to click on check so this is just an upsell for you to gain access to their best selling product which is going to cost you around two dollar for five products so i'm just going to cancel this and uh, then we can proceed here so this is the product we've just imported so what you want to do now is um to click on the product so if you want to push the product directly to your shopify store just click on this icon as you can see it says push to store so when you click on it it's going to send the product directly to your shopify store but before that if you want to um look at the product variables uh, more details about the product just um click on it to open up the product or click on edit products as you can see here now before you push the product to your shopify store you want to give it a cache title so this is the generic title that the product have on aliexpress so you can just um edit the the title then make it shorter so i'll just change mine to montessori educational children outdoor 
um, game toy. So this is the weight of the product and this is um, the dimension of the product. So you can just go through the product description and if you're okay with that, what you want to do is um, click on save. Then after that, um, you can now uh, move to the next option. So let's click edit and again. So this is the product. So this is the variant of the product. So we just edited the title of the product. So when you move to variant, you can see uh, the variant available for the product. So this is the first one. So the um, the stock for the first one is um, over 1,800 um, stocks on AliExpress and the next one is just 3 and the third one is just um, 113. So to make sure the product is available in your store, you can just delete um, the second one and the third one. Okay, so um, so if you want to do that, just click on delete here and it's going to delete and um, the second one as well. When you click delete, it's going to delete. So if you want to adjust any of the up that options here, you can do that here. Okay, so once you are okay with this, all you have to do is um click on save. So I've just saved it. So I'm going to come back again, edit the product. Um let's check the variant again. If um if you want to adjust the price, you can also adjust the price here, and this is what um uh, the shipping is going to cost uh, your customer so you can just add the shipping fee to the price of the product okay so once you're okay with that just click on save so the next thing you want to check is the description of the product so the good thing here is that you can use a high to adjust the edition of the product so what you want to do is just click on this a high here so you can see um, what um, the AI can do for the vision. So here it says pro uh, provide your requirement. So what you want the AI to do. So just enter all of the details here. And after that, all you simply need to do is click on create and um, click on AI generation. So it's going to generate the description for you. So once you're okay with that as well, just come over here, then click on save. So this is the um, image available for the product. So these are the image available. So if you don't like any of the image, you can just um, delete them here. Now this is the shipping info for the product. So once you are okay with all of them, all you simply need to do is click on save. So once you click on save, it's going to bring you here again. So once you are okay with all of that, just click on push to stop. So here I'm going to come down here, then I'm going to click um, push to stop. So the product has just been pushed to our Shopify store. So the next thing we have to do now is to go over to our Shopify dashboard and start adjusting the product on our Shopify store. But before that, if you want to add or import the reviews of this product on AliExpress directly to your Shopify store as well. Now, um, this, this app also have an app that you can install to your Shopify store to do that. It says, um, get instant, instantly get review for this product. So, um, the app is locked. So you can also try the app for free. So if you want to try the app, just come over here and click on this. So when you click on this, it's going to redirect you to the app. So this is where you can install the product. So when you install the product, you'll be able to import reviews for this product directly on AliExpress to your Shopify store, then adjust the reviews to your store settings. All right. So what we want to do now is to go back to Shopify, then look for the product we've just um, imported. So here I'm just going to reload my store. So after reloading my store, what you want to do is come to the product section here. So when you click on the product section here, you'll be able to see the products you've just imported to your Shopify store. So if you want to view the products, you can just click here to preview the product on your Shopify store. So this is the product on my Shopify store. So as you can see, so this is the description that comes with the product. So you can use the AI to adjust this. So what we want to do now is to come back here. If you want to edit it, you can just click on the product. And here, this is where you can now give it the final touch of um, adjustment for the product so this is basically how you can um, import product directly from um, these are um, the shopify app from aliexpress to your shopify store so once you have enough product on your shopify store the next thing you want to do is to you know go over to the shopify app store then um, install the um, tiktok app or facebook app so this is what you're going to be using to market your product. So once everything is in place, now you can now start marketing this product and start making profit for all of the products you have on your Shopify store. So this is basically how you can set up a Shopify account 
um, for just thirty dollar for the next ninety days and start making money with your dropshipping business. All right. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, please subscribe so you can get more videos like this. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.